Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Alpha Stewart, and she is the APA president. And Dr. Stewart, thank you so much for joining me. I know that your your time as president is coming to a close in just a few days. Yes. Tell me about your year as the APA president. Some of your highlights. Oh, it's been a really fascinating year. Uh, it's been challenging, but it's been exciting also. I mean, I began the year working with a, um, a group of, at SAMHSA on children's mental health awareness. And we, we were part of a program on understanding the impact of trauma on childhood development. Uh, so within hours of becoming president, I was already immersed in that. Uh, the year continued to be exciting as we spoke out against the government's policy on separating children and families and the kind of trauma that caused to those individuals. We have had challenges where we've gone before Congress to talk about everything from that separation at the border to regulations that are making it difficult for psychiatrists and other physicians to practice. Um, we've talked about changing practice settings. I mean, it's just been a very uh, exciting, filled with uh, interesting work to be done year for us here. I was reading this theme, revitalize psychiatry, so disrupt, include, engage, and innovate. Yes. You're smiling. This means yes. a lot. Tell me why yes. this theme is so important. Well, psychiatry is at a real intersection, I think. We are a, a specialty in medicine and in the House of Medicine with all of our colleagues, we are sort of clustered in a particular area. And I think that as, as our profession grows and younger people come in with their knowledge of the digital world and the use of technology, that we're at a place where we can grow and evolve and disruption of what has been in the spirit of innovating what needs to be mm -hmm. was a part of that theme. And the inclusion is that there's places for everyone who wants to be a psychiatrist at whatever part of the continuum. If you want to do psychotherapy, if you want to practice using psychopharmacology, if you'd like to work in the community or you want to work in a special setting, we are an inclusive field because people in all of those areas need our special expertise. This kind of talks to your emphasis during your presidency on diversity, and innovation, so tell me how that's transformed in this past year with your help. Well, I think we've, we've had a, a wonderful dialogue about the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion, both in the practice of psychiatry, working with patients, as well as in the professional development of psychiatrists. And it's an area where we are learning more and more about social determinants of health, and some other challenges that we face in delivering good health care and having this dialogue beginning us on the path of actually creating practices and policies and procedures that will inform our work has been really a wonderful thing for the APA to be involved in. Well, Dr. Stewart, I want to thank you for your time, APA president, until Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Sounds like it was a full year. It was. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.